Hi, I'm Ashay. I'm an engineer by training and a storyteller by passion. I made this podcast to talk about data science, but no math, no equations, just intuitions behind data science. The episodes are not in any particular order and you can just tune into any episode and listen to something related to data science. Let's get started. Let's get started. Whenever we have some data in some sample space in front of us, the data usually comes in the following form. There are data objects, which are data points in the sample space. And each data object is associated with some attributes of that data object. So if we think of like a spreadsheet in front of our eyes, each row is a data object and each column is some attribute of that data object. And in this episode, we'll talk about the types of attributes that each data object can have. Now, uh, the, the types of uh, attributes could be categorized into two major categories. There could be qualitative attributes or there could be quantitative attributes to a data object. And when I say qualitative, they, they are uh, also called categorical um, attributes. And when you have quantitative attributes, they are also called numerical uh, attributes. So let's, uh, let's talk about these and then there are subtypes of each of these, but let's directly jump into an example and then let's talk about these uh, attributes, the types of attributes in that example. So let's say we have a, we have a class of uh, 25 kids and one day uh, the school decides to have a, a, a race, a running race uh, that's being held at the school where these 25 kids are encouraged to participate. And what happens on that day is uh, out of those 25 kids, uh, five kids are not feeling really well. So they don't attend the school uh, on that day. So only 20 kids uh, participate in the, in the race. And uh, the race is for, uh, let's say, uh, it's, a, it's a 10 meter uh, track. Uh, it's a track of 10 meters and then uh, the race uh, goes on for uh, for some time and then uh, uh, there is a certain kid who wins the race and then obviously there are uh, some kids uh, they don't win the race but then there is there are ranks like there is one kid that stands first then uh, another kid that stands second third fourth like that now we are uh, going to look at the data of this this particular event that i just described so the categorical data uh, or qualitative data for this set of kids set of 25 kids the first kind of categorical data could be nominal data which is which could be their names so name of a kid is just a nomination. So it has nothing to do with like a name of a particular kid has nothing to do with names of other kids. So it is just a nominal nominal piece of data, nominal piece, nominal uh, piece of attribute that we, we could have in the data set. So uh, that's one uh, piece of data. Then under nominal, we could have uh, another subtype which is a binary data and then within binary we can have symmetric binary data and asymmetric binary data. So let's talk about symmetric binary nominal variable. So in this particular example the gender of kids could be the example of a symmetric binary nominal data. So for example if we binary means 0 or 1 so if you have uh, Let's say if the uh, uh, there are uh, some kids that are male, we assign them a zero value and some kids that are female, we assign them uh, as value one. So the output of this feature, this uh, binary feature is same, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. So, so that's why it's called symmetric binary nominal 
variable or symmetric binary nominal attribute or feature of the data object which is a kid now uh, as i said out of 25 kids five kids were not feeling really well so they did not attend the school on that day so if we create uh, a, another column in this variable where uh, the column is attendance and zero means did not attend and one means attended the school then it's an asymmetric uh, nominal variable because if the value is zero that means after all of uh, uh, for that particular kid uh, for that particular kid the all the uh, attributes are then going to be zero because that kid didn't participate in the race at all so it's not a favorable result for the data analysis but when you have one um, which is uh, which is the kid did attend the school on that day that means then we can now have some data points for that kid in the race right so um, so what we just looked at is a categorical variable or qualitative variables of the data objects and within the qualitative variable we looked at nominal which is names of the kids symmetric binary nominal uh, nominal variable which is genders of those kids male or female and asymmetric nominal variable which is whether the kids attend or did not attend the school then if we look at the ranks of the kids that attended the race we looked at their ranks and one kid stood first this another kid stood second third kid uh, stood third four kid uh, stood fourth so the ranks of those kids could be an ordinal variable and by ordinal what i mean is it has some order but it is still a categorical variable because uh, the uh, the order uh, is there one two three four but let's say the first kid crossed the finish line and the second kid missed the finish line by let's say one meter but the third kid could have finished uh, could have missed the finish line by three meters so the distance between the ranks is irrelevant when we are looking at just the order of the ranks and that's why it's a, it's a categorical variable which is an ordinal uh, qualitative variable so just ranks of the kids within the within the race now let's move our attention to the another uh, category of attributes which is numerical categories now obviously if you look at mathematically to numbers uh, the numbers could be integers or number could be real valued uh, by integers i mean one two three four uh, when i say real valued they could be any number between one and two like 1.234 or 1.589 something like that so um uh, but let's not look at that definition let's look at the uh, the um, intuitive uh, qualification uh, intuitive classification i'm sorry intuitive classification between uh, the numerical type of variable so there could be uh, within uh, the numerical uh, types there could be uh, two types two subtypes the interval numerical category or interval numerical uh, variable or ratio numerical variable so when i say interval numerical variable we are you are looking at a set interval and you are looking at how many data objects fall within that interval and there is no absolute zero uh, for for interval data so uh, in this particular race uh, example if we look at how many kids finished between zero and one meter of the of the track how many kids finish one and two how many kids finished between two and three so uh, we are not looking at the ranks of the kids which was the ordinal uh, qualitative data we are looking at the uh, the count of kids uh, for particular equidistant intervals of the uh, of the track length so interval data is usually equidistant uh, but it, it is it does not have an absolute uh, zero and the the next type of data uh, could be the uh, ratio uh, data 
ratio numerical variable uh, in which you have an absolute zero. For example, again in this race example, uh, if we look at by how much length did the kids miss the finish line? So the kid that stood first obviously didn't miss the finish line. So for that, the answer is zero. So that's an absolute zero. But then the next kid f missed the finish line by one meters, let's say. The next kid finished uh, missed the finish line by seven meters. So there is an absolute zero here. And then there is some unit of measurement. And then you are taking a ratio of that unit to the actual uh, value and you are calculating the uh, the the variable or the feature and that's the uh, ratio numerical variable so to summarize the um, the attributes of data could have two major types uh, qualitative quantitative or categorical or numerical within qualitative you have uh, ordinal uh, sorry uh, within qualitative you have nominal and ordinal nominal is completely random there is no order uh, it's just an attribute uh, just like in this example names you have ordinal which has order but it is uh, it is an order it is not um, it, it it is not necessarily uh, talking about uh, any particular numerical quantity uh, it is just an order uh, just in this case ranks of uh, kids in the race then within the numerical uh, variable category you have interval data which is equidistant intervals uh, and you are looking at uh, uh, those intervals but, uh, data objects within those intervals and it does not have an absolute zero and you have a ratio numerical variable which is uh, you have an absolute zero you are looking at a ratio between the single unit of measurement and the actual value of the variable and then you are calculating that ratio and uh, that's the ratio that's the value of that particular uh, variable or, or that particular feature or attribute of the data. Thanks for tuning in. I made this podcast to talk about intuitions behind data science and we'll talk about some other idea in the next episode. There will be no math, no equations, just intuitions behind data science. See you soon.